How you going team? In the truck we've got uh, young Cole on the side putting his chaps on now. In the back we've got Jody who's been with us for about three years. He's not really young anymore, he's 18. 16. 16 today, 16. <laughs> for some reason. And beside him we've got Spencer. We're just turning collars on. We are currently heading into a place where everybody goes. It's Oliver's Road, there's no point in keeping a secret. It's pretty much public if you've got a permit. And uh, right now, collars are getting switched on. So this is a hunting video. It's our intention that something will die. It's the first hunt of the season for us in forestry. I haven't missed the last three weeks, although it's been open for three weeks, but this is our first hunt in the forestry. We're hunting blind. I haven't done any reconnaissance work or scouting up here. Don't know what the word is. I haven't talked to any hunters. We're just going in here because this is the last place we hunted last year and there were still pigs at the end of the season while we were hunting it, so that seemed like a good idea. Uh, if you don't like the idea of gathering free range meat, don't watch the video. But if you can sort of relate to that, then uh, come with me. Spencer's putting a T5 on Poe. He's got it down to a fine art. She's running a game gear rip collar. So Spencer got his uh, first solo pig last week just with pace. He took the pace out. Always cut on the left hand side. Always, always early on the left hand side. We're about five kilometres from the hunt zone, but I've got Poe just on the front of the truck just in the case uh, the pig decides to run across the track or she picks up scent down the gully. We have caught pigs like this before. We've been going for about 30 minutes. You can see the sun's now up. It was dark before. And Poe's still on the front. She hasn't jumped off yet, so no fresh sign. But you never know. One thing is sure is if we didn't have her on the front of the truck, a boar would run across the road in front of us. Got a very cold southwest wind blowing this morning, which is good to keep the dogs cool. It's quite a strong breeze. It's blowing about 15 knots. So it's quite a lot, which is going to be hopefully lifting the scent of the pigs out of the gully and up onto the tops where the dogs are. Yeah. This guy's going to run around to the catch pig. I've dropped Cole and Spencer on the other side of the gully with Poe and Big Z. And I've got Pace and B just out in front of me. I'm going to get out of the truck here. So we're going to try and sandwich something in between us, see the dogs in. This is where we're keeping our dogs and you probably can't see but this ridge going down here. Cole is currently walking down the Spencer. Just in the off chance of something on this gully in between. Pace getting signed down here. Where's he going Pace? Where's he going eh? There's a pig over there somewhere. Where's he going eh? Where's he going? So often with starting the season, going into a block, cold, blind, hunting is what I call it. You don't have a lot of success because you just don't know where the pigs are to begin with. And today, a lot of driving, a lot of walking, still found nothing. So all we've found out so far is we know where the pigs are not. And it's a little bit frustrating first day of the season to put that much work into it and not uh, get a result. But you've got to start somewhere, make your peg put it in the ground and work all around it from there and that's what we're doing. The dogs have been trying but not even picking up hot scent and we're not seeing any marks in the ground. And it looks like it's been hunted quite a bit pre the season open. That'll be all the staff that work up here. It's a, it's a good boar. I've just asked Spencer to walk around here. There's been heaps of traffic through here this morning and stuff and it looks like there's nothing in there but this is the sort of place that a pig will just sit low and wait. They won't move, and if you can actually walk dogs in, you'll often walk them onto a pig. It's had a lot of vehicles go back and forth here, and dogs have been running, but doesn't mean there's not a pig in here still. Right there, look at it, getting through. Cole came up to me and says, I just saw a little pig running down there, and it's a bloody big hare, still going. There it goes there. You couldn't be mistaken though, it looks pretty big, doesn't it? Yeah. I was just sort of like crashing through those bushes here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Dogs have just gone over this bank in great speed. How far away, mate? Waiting for a bark. Wow. Definitely a pig down there. 
I just took off. Oh yeah, they've gone. They've gone down that gully. Yeah, it's a good place for a pig. Probably let bigs here. They're already down that gully. Okay, jump in, boys. Who's going to get it first? Well, after a morning of going pretty much everywhere, dogs have finally caught a pig. Didn't sound like a big one. But uh, a pig's a pig, and when you're catching nothing, it's good. I parked the truck and locked it all up so the boys could go and chase after it. It's not far down, it's only 180 metres, so by now they would have taken care of, I imagine. No, well, we're on the board anyway. Not quite the monster I was wanting. Look down here. See, probably the size of the pig it was, it's that sort of size poo up in here. All of that, so just a little mob pig. Well, it's not a biggie, but it's a piggy. And uh, everyone for you, Spence, is one that you clock up, mate, and learn how to gut and everything else. Yeah. So it's good. Actually, Pace caught that pig. He was treated on it first. Yeah. So yeah, I'll let you um, whip the guts out and uh, oh, it's a bit of bit of meat to eat on there. Yeah. His back legs. We don't leave that sort of meat behind. See, when he started gutting, I'll let you carry on. And uh, good job, mate. Well done. Did you enjoy going down to that, mate? Yeah, it was good. Did you? Yeah. Because uh, first what happened was we heard a possum making some noise. And, oh, no, don't tell me dogs have got a possum. You could hear. <laughs> they must have lifted one on the way down to the bale. And then next minute, uh, you hear. And suddenly the boys are all sitting around with their hands and then their pockets and their fingers up their bums and motoring 100 mile out down the hill. And this guy, all I see is his head go down, his legs go. I thought, fuck, that must have hurt. And he's back up again with a dumb smile on his face and then keeps on going. I think you fell over again after that, didn't you? Yeah. Happens, happens quite frequently. <laughs> Okay, that's that's what she wanted. That's your favourite bit. Here you go, Pope. Good job. Young Jody's just joined us on the truck and we're about to pick up Flynn. Now Flynn's interesting, he's a 16-year-old hunter and his grandfather used to hunt a lot with my father. It goes way back, so there's a bit of connection there. And he's also got Sky. Sky is the pup out of Pace and Poe. And that's hunting quite well. She's a little sort of hairy dog. She's got a lot of poe. She's thrown to poe quite a bit. And she's seen a handful of pigs now with Flynn. So we're in the forestry here and oh, look at this. Someone's been growing some electric broccoli up here. There's bags of fertilizer and there's lots of buckets. Someone's been growing the old uh, electric puha in the forestry. And currently, the boys are straight up there and I've got these two dogs in. Just going to see whether something happens. Keep these guys in in case something comes down. I've got the long range aerial on the Alpha 100 so I can track everything. So the dogs almost like they've had a mob. They're all going in different directions. Be and Pace together and Poe and Bigsy together. While well, B's actually gone down here. Moving quite fast. So that's straight out here about 200 metres I'm guessing. Pace trade, doesn't it? Pace suddenly trade. Yeah, Pace is trade there. Oh, he's... he's trade up. No, he's still moving. Look how down this trap. Get a bit closer. So this is what Bugsy just brought back to us. Holy shit! <laughs> he come up to us with his little pig. Bugsy come. He found that and he brought it back home. Good boy, Bixie. It's a bit small, mate. <laughs> no, Bixie, Bixie, drop. Bixie, drop. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Bixie. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't what we're actually hoping to catch. But, uh, hang on to that, mate. Just keep Another bags. subway pig. It's a subway pig. It's actually, that's a real small one. So Bixie's bought the, he put, had his mouth, did he? Yeah. yeah. He just came to me and dropped it. He came to you and dropped it. Mm -hmm. Same as it. Came to me and dropped it. Well that is the target species, Bigsy, but it's a wee bit small, mate. Good boy, Bigsy, good boy. Well, old mate's just joined us, another hunter's dog. He's got his tracking collar on, see so you know where he is. Bigsy. Bigsy's body language is not good. Sit down, Poe. Leave it, Poe. Bigsy, leave it. Good boy. Leave it, Poe. He wants to play with him. Leave it, Poe. Currently the time is 9.15, he's tired, I'm tired, we've had a pretty hard out two days, a couple of small pigs, we need to get ourselves fitter and we need to get the dogs fitter. How you going? 
I'm not sure where this pink toothbrush came from. I think it's one of my daughter's mates. You know this rooster beside me here. We just had five days in the high country, away hunting. We got back late last night, and today we thought for something different, we'd do some, some more hunting. Sounds like it. Pig hunting. So last weekend, you would have seen the clip I've just put before this one, and we got the first day about a 30 pounder, and the second day a pig about as big as his boot. Speaking of his boots, have you got them there? Yeah, I said to him last night, you get everything out of the truck? <laughs> yep. And I found his boots in the back. What were you looking to hunt on today when you're looking for your stuff to come here? Your boots? No, I've got two pairs of boots. Oh, you got two pairs of boots. When, when you lose your stuff like you do, you fucking need two pairs of boots. Anyway, we're going to connect up with young Spencer and do a bit of pig hunting. So if you don't like the idea of stuff getting killed with dog and knife, then don't watch the video. But if you do, then come with me. Did you clean your teeth when you got back from our hunt? Chewing gum. Chewing gum, right. I clean my eyes away, but he doesn't clean his teeth because what's the reason for not cleaning exactly other than the laziness? Probably just the laziness. Just laziness. At least he's honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you make up for it because you're a gun hunter. Mm. So you're, you're forgiven, but your teeth will they'll give you arseholes when you get older, believe me. Young Spencer's joined us in the back. Sure. We're now in the hunt zone and hopeful that we're going to get something. Spencer just told me again that he's had another TikTok video taken down. He keeps getting struck down because of their community guidelines. This time he was just in his underwear riding a quad bike. <laughs> Can't understand it. Life. Yeah, like, like taken down for sexual nudity. In your underwear on a quad bike, not sexual nudity. Why were you in your underwear anyway? Thought it'd be fun. <laughs> Get on you, mate. I mean, you're not wrong. He's not wrong, is he? It would have been fun. Oh, it's great fun riding around your underwear. <laughs> is that what you do? Ride around your underwear? Oh, I've, I've done a wee bit of biking in, in my undies. Quite often, Jody actually doesn't have undie, undies because it's too cold, because he ends up using them as gloves. Am I right? Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> he was up the tops in the high country and his hands were freezing. So he took off his first pair of underwear and took his extra clean pair out. You always have a clean pair of underwear and he used them as gloves. True story. <laughs> hilarious. His well, balls were freezing but his fingers were nice well, and warm. It wasn't hilarious at the time. <laughs> Fucking cold. <laughs> it's always really noisy because dogs wag their tails so before we get right down to where we're going we're going to put the collars on here and that's the thing with pig hunting and putting your GPS collars on and I'll say this to a lot of you young hunters always have your collars on either before you get to the hunt zone or well before you get to the hunt zone. So we've got our collars, we actually got them going all plugged in down the road, that way they're actually picking up satellite. And now we're putting them on before we, we our hunt zone where we're going, it's probably about um, oh, a kilometre down the road where we're going to let them out. I'll put Poe on the bonnet because there might be the odd pigs through here, but realistically you've got to imagine that there's always a pig there because it's when you don't have your collars on and you take a dog out, it's going to jump out, chase after a pig and you can't track it. You do play first mate, that's okay. Alright, put him on. That's the one, got the right one. He doesn't need to have rip gear on, he's on a baiting dog. Well, hard when he wants to be, but not too tight, mate. Just slip a hand underneath. Stay there, Bugsy, stay there, good boy. Just so just slip a hand underneath what you want. How's that feel? That's the one. Yep, there you go. Pop the pose on. Is that who's on the ground, is it? How come? Yep, bud. How come? Good girl, pup. There you go, that's the right way. Always have your aerial on the left hand side of the dog. That's the one. Good girl, Pope. So, this is the plan. I've got Poe with me. The boys have got B, Pace, and Bixie, and they've gone down the spur. I'm going to jump in the truck, put Poe on the front, do a massive circle, and meet them at the bottom. That way, if anything's coming out, she's onto it. Poe, come. Good kill. Gonna put her up on the front. Poe, up here. Get up, up. Good job. Stay. That's what we call bonneting for you guys that uh, are new to pig hunting. So the guys are on foot. I did a big circle. We're covering a lot of ground that way. Stay. Where there's hawk, there's pork. Poe looking keen down the bottom of this road here. She get a bit of scent there, isn't she? She's getting keen. She's gonna go or not? Sniffing something.
She can smell it, but she doesn't know where it is. Sounds like the boys have pulled a pig. Come on, Jodie, repeat, please. Just heard a gunshot go off. I think they shot it at a bail. Did you shoot that at the bail, mate? Did I just hear a gunshot go off? Just confirmed, did you shoot it at the bail? Just the positive or negative, did you shoot it at the bail? Negative. Okay, another shot just went off then. Did you hear that rifle shot? Negative. Fuck, we've got a shot right close to us too right now. Okay, someone's shooting up here. Okay, I'll put... How big was the pig, mate? Confirm the size of the pig. Not very good. Oh, we're on the board. Bloody good. I'm absolutely so fucking elated. Okay. It sounds like the boys have only got about a 40 pounder from what Jody's telling me or that sort of size. But a pig is a pig. And I've been working hard for a long time. Last weekend, took the boys out both days. Pig's not very big. This is a, something we can eat. And it's just a great feeling. We're hunting here in the GD. Very hard to stop pigs in here. Everybody hunts in here. It's like a public place. And to have the boys catch a pig with just pace. And B's got a sore foot right now, so he's not doing much. And Big C, just awesome. Really is. It lifts the spirits of the boys, it lifts my spirits, it lifts the dog spirits. It's a win-win and it's food on the table. And to be honest with you guys, I would rather catch an eating sized pig than something that gives me a vet bill that I can't afford to pay. I've had my dog chewed up that many times over the years and lately I'm not really getting too excited over a stinky old boar that is good for nothing but salami and I don't even eat salami so really these little pigs that are nice and tender to eat good to cook, provide us a really tasty dish. I'm just stoked. I'm just absolutely fucking stoked. I'm over the moon. I really am. And I'm really pleased that Jody and Spencer got that together too because those two guys there, well, Spencer can learn a lot from Jody. He's a good hunter, Jody, and he's been with me for nearly four years now and he's really shaping up to be something else. So it's a win-win. Really is a good feeling. Right, we'll head on down this gully and I've got Poe on the front just in case a pig breaks from where the boys are. So she's just on there, something could break from this side here and come down, if that happens she's ready to jump on it. You fucking beauty, yes. Hey. Good boy. D's nuts. You called that Spencer, you said that's where it might be a pig. Yeah. Put it there mate. Awesome. <laughs> well done. So he's he led that hunt like you. Huh? Pretty much. Good on you mate, well done giving it to him. I can like that, it's good hunting, you guys are a team. Well done. I was going down to the peg and I got my legs stuck in between two trees and I was like lying on my side like, ah. Cause I saw him going ahead and I was like, no I wanna be into the peg. <laughs> so who bet who to the peg? Who got there first? I got there first. Yeah, you got there. Okay, you grabbed it and you stuck it? Yeah. Was it a clean kill? It was uh, great actually, yeah. straight in, straight out. Nice, and dead straight away? Yep, pretty much. Sweet as, oh, I'll throw on the truck, good job. Good man, jump in. So Pace caught it. You were down to the bale and you stuck it. You skinned it and you boned it out. And now, I'm chopping it up. Some rib for you, mate. A lot of pig hunters leave this bit behind, but uh, we're gonna do it good. We've got it uh, with some of Rookie Brown's famous rub. It's going in the pan. Smacking a bit of salt on this as well. Because ribs are curved, we're going to cut them. That way we get the whole curvature on the pan flat with each one. Makes them flatter. See, I've already browned this one a little bit. I'm using avocado oil in the pan. It's got quite a hot point. And 
these ribs are all cut up short now. This is the baby camp oven, it's only small. These ribs are really brown nicely, straight in the camp oven. More avocado oil, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar for tang, and also breaks the meat down. This time Cajun seasoning, everybody loves this stuff, it's just delicious. It goes on so much stuff, and yeah, I'm putting plenty on there. Come back and look at that in about half an hour. How we're looking, it's been half an hour. We're looking pretty good. Smells absolutely delicious. Okay, son, wrap your laughing gear around that. It'll be hot. Thank you. Not for you, Pace. You caught it, but uh, the master gets to chew on it. It's pretty hot. Have you had that before? Done like that? It's a little bit of spice. Good. Pretty good, eh? Yeah, it's mm. amazing. Yeah, it's funny how many hunters throw that away, eh? But it's actually a really good chomping. Bit of meat on it too, eh? Mmm. Mm. Delicious. The young boar. Reasonably tender, eh? Mm. Not too chewy at all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Consider jumping on my Patreon. That helps run the truck and all the boys' hunts I do. And for those that are on there, thank you very much. Appreciate it. If you go on there, you'll also get to see all the uh, in-house videos and the updates as we hunt and do what we do. Be good, can't be good. Be careful. I'm going to keep chewing this, and we'll see you in the next video. How are you getting on? Good. You want some more? Yes, please. He's getting good manners. See ya. Stick em, whack em and stack em Your boys hide deep in the bracket Your dog's gotta work so hard